Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video looking to manage your Zuhu emails inside of Gmail in this tutorial we will show you how to connect Zuhu mail to Gmail and seamlessly manage both accounts in one place so guys let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience so for this specific video guys you are going to actually go through the google workspace integration and understand how we can connect to her with gmail so as you can see here this is mainly made for zoho billing but it still can be applied uh, on like zoho mail and in general so first of all here is basically mentioned with google workspace so we need eventually to go to google workspace as you can see right here and basically open it with our account of gmail connected so here it is google workspace you have to run it um let me just run the sign in or basically get go through here and basically run it through here so it can be connected directly without going through anything um, there's also the google workspace um, marketplace which is very very important to check if you search for zoo here and you will find all of this like CRM for Gmail. So you have a CRM creator project, invoice, etc. etc. You could also go through here, you'll find Zuho CRM for Gmail as you can see here. And this is a really good app, so it's gonna help you a lot. Um, this is gonna be open opening an extension within Gmail itself, so it is very useful. We're gonna try it also in this video. So in this video, what they are make in this article, what they are basically having as pre uh, prerequisites are basically you must have a Google Space email address, which is different from that of your Gmail email address. Um, it's basically a professional address, and this email address should be the same as the one used to log into Zoho Billing, or basically in our case to Zoho Mail. So eventually, you will have to create a new, um, basically a new app or basically a new account with the market with the google workspace accounts so google workspace account is different than the gmail uh, mail it's going to be totally different it will not end by at gmail.com but eventually it will end by a customized domain name or domain uh, of yours also if you install this app which is the zero crm for gmail let me just show you guys how it's done it's simple like that um let me it is completed that's good now if i want to gmail there will not it will not be shown in here so as you can see it is not shown but once you open like let me open this reddit okay so once i open it you will find it here as you can see your crm it will open and then you will have to actually log into your account as you can see here um here we go sign in with google so i can get the access to my account so zoo crm would like to access the following information accounts read your basic profile information crm and so let's accept and as you can see after quite a bit uh it will be giving you this success message then close it and this will refresh and basically will find zoo crm but as i said this is just an alternative this is for zoo crm not for zoo mail now for zoo mail there is like um there is like an alternative way, which is basically you're gonna connect both accounts together so you can find every inbox in this area, like in this section within the Zoho mail. To do so, you will be needed to go to your settings. So let me just open my account as you can see and basically go right here to the settings. Once you open these settings, as you can see here, you will find a lot of things from mail accounts, sharing, send mail, etc make sure to simply go to mail account right here this is like the mail by zoho.com and add a new one so here choose the account type as you can see um there is outlook office 365 zoho and others and simply here put your account type for example i'm gonna go ahead copy this paste it right here account name uh, here it goes, set it as default account and the icon has switched directly to Gmail and basically here, keep it as it is, set this as default, you can change a couple of things, uh, you can delete, you can keep and here you have to give like a password, um, which 
see something like that and basically just like source click on save and yeah you're gonna be pretty much ready for it so just as a side information here for this specific um basically this error here uh it's simply because the authentication you have to put like your real password so when it comes to adding your gmail account to your zoho here they will need to get the access to it you can review their credential users policy here and read it by yourself so you can literally understand how it works and what it has exactly so you don't miss anything when it comes to that um, it's very important to read it um, but yeah anyway you will have to eventually use it uh, if you want really to have both your emails connected in one platform then this is the solution that I could find for you unfortunately as you can see here this is all you have um, there is others like go in here to extensions and basically in extensions you could search for uh, main merge so you can find for example Gmail uh, but these are only the extensions that's here let me just filter them a little bit so here you can find the categories as you can see productivity file management cooperation social okay, so I think it's social yeah there's nothing like uh, communication yeah uh, gmail doesn't exist in here so you will be stuck with this solution that i have given you uh, otherwise you might want to try something else such as basically zapier zapier is too very very cool too which is allows you to integrate two apps together so you could literally uh, just go ahead and connect zoho with zapier gmail with zapier and make an automation which causes whenever there is a new email sent into one of the inboxes the same email will be sent to the other inbox so you can do here trigger for example new email sent to gmail so something like that six events let's choose the event that it is basically you received a new email so here you will find all the events um it's basically laggy a little bit but yeah here choose the event to be received new email and the action basically choose uh basically to send uh, this email to uh, Zuhu mail and just like that you will be all good to go and all sets so you won't have any problems or face any mistakes or you won't have to worry about basically giving your credentials to Zuhu uh, for any further like uh, matters in the future or basically be afraid of giving your credentials and being uh, publicly launched online so this is something that you don't not want to happen in the future and yeah that was basically it today's guys video so i hope you enjoyed it if you don't have any more questions or problems make sure to mention them in the comment section thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial